peace. Today's mathematics is <clears throat> understanding knowledge, and that's 31. I want to take a moment to give you a brief overview and then also a practical example of how you could apply it to your everyday life. Um, like one of the things I shared yesterday is understanding is more than just comprehension. Understanding and seeing things for what they are, not what they appear to be, you hope for them to be, want for them to be, believe them to be, and wish for them to be. It's just having a crystal clear picture of what something actually is, not what it appears to be. And when you think about understanding knowledge, you're talking about getting a crystal clear picture of a person's foundation. Because knowledge is the foundation. It's what all people stand upon, whether they know it or not. Another thing about knowledge is it's consciousness, it's awareness, and it's also principalities. It's your modus of operandi or the way in which you function or operate. So understanding knowledge is having a crystal clear picture of how a person operates, how they function, what they're conscious of, what they're aware of, and an easy way to get a sense of that is to just look at their culture. Look at the sum total of all their people activities. So for example, when you look at three and one equal four, that's understanding knowledge equal culture. And if you look at a person's dietary choices, if you look at the way they define family relationships, how they define gender roles, their style of dress, how they approach problem solving, all of those various different aspects of their people activities gives you insight into what you can see about their foundation. It's just that simple. So I will this was inspiring, it was empowering, it was educational, and just gave you a very brief overview and a practical example of how to actually assess a person's way of life and what they stand on. What's their foundation? Just look at their culture. Peace.